Hey guys, this is Robert, and I'm going to show you how to add chats because and, and other stuff, I guess. Because Legend 3001 needs help. So I'm going to go here. Wrong one. There we go. So what you need to do is go to Restream IO right here and then create an account. Once you create an account, you will log in. And this is a lot easier set up than using anything else. And all you do with Restream IO is you copy your you link your accounts and then you just copy this stuff into your OBS. And you should know how to do that from the previous video. So for this one you need to go to chat. Just hit download app. And it's for Windows 7, 8. 8.1 and 10 and once you download that you just install it like any program and then after you do that you now you have it running like this I have two accounts connected that's why it has two for two no one's viewing me right now because I'm not live and yeah that's that so now you go back to OBS you click add I'm just gonna do a short Yes, tutorial. So you go at right click add window capture. You hit OK. Select chats. And that's that. That's how you add it to OBS. And then you go to properties. Or you go to, I mean sorry. You go to filters. This is what I do. I to change the opacity, you go to the chroma key or the filters, and you add the chroma key. And then you can just play with the opacity. The lower it is, the less visible it is. I set mine at 50. Alright, and then I'm going to add another one. You don't have to do this, uh, I just do it. That way it cuts off some of this part here. So the bottom. Uh, just play around with it. Uh, this 150 cuts it out. And then on the right, I don't know what's going on here, but you can put some padding on here so it removes that. And there you go. That's, m that's how I get the chat on there. And then the next thing you can add is a webcam. For some reason, the OBS. Studio does not allow different configurations for webcams, so I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna add it here. Use the stream. Oh, I guess it does work. Okay. Yeah, I guess that works. Okay. And then you can do the same thing with this. This is you can add it. Chroma key. That way, your I guess I do it because my audience can see everything behind me. Uh, let me add my display. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now you can't see me, right? So you need to drag it up and drag it up. And you can see them. So you can see everything behind me. Right? And then you can add chats. So you can go to live stream. Make an account. Same way. Um, they have tutorials on YouTube. You can watch. Uh, let me pull it up. Live stream. And then you can. Oh, where is it? alerts alright so this is their channel here and they have a couple videos on how to set up alerts here you can set up goes I normally have alerts when someone follows me subscribes and then you can have lists of top donators 
subs and everything. You can also have a donation history. Yeah. Let me sh just pick one out. Let's go alerts. So you just copy this URL. Okay. And then just hit right click here. You add browser source. And you can just paste in here. Alright. It's invisible here. So now I hit test. And it should pop up. Oh, wait. Oops. <laughs> Forgot. You, you can, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Sorry. It's a little slow. Yeah, make sure it's on top. That way it shows up. So if you do that, you know, they, it's the same link for all of them. All right. So if someone gives you a donation. Right. Uh, yeah. You can link a Twitch alert to it also, and I'll use that. And it should show up. There you go. Okay, so hopefully that helped. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share the video, and I will see you next time. Thanks.